On the Curtain Razor episode of Guts and Glory Salute 71, we have a very, very special guest and amongst the most decorated soldiers in the country. Lieutenant General Rana Pratap Kalita, Param Vishesh Seva Medal, Uttam Yud Seva Medal, Ati Vishesh Seva Medal, Sena Medal, Vishesh Seva Medal. The General was commissioned into Nain Kumau in 1984 and has extensive operational experience in Sri Lanka, Jammu and Kashmir and Northeast. He commanded a Rashtriya Rifles Battalion in Kashmir, a Mountain Brigade in Peace, an Infantry Division actively committed in counterinsurgency operations in Jammu and Kashmir and strategically important corps in Northeast. Sir, welcome to Guts and Glory, Salute 71 Thank you. on Red FM. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Now, it's been almost 52 years since uh, the India-Pakistan conflict of 1971. It holds a massive historical significance. Can you tell us why it is so relevant even today in the history of India and sometimes even the history of the world? Uh, firstly, thank you for organizing this show. As you know that 1971 war played a significant role in shaping the current geopolitical situation, particularly in South Asia. It is one of the greatest military victories which witnessed surrender of more than 90,000 Pakistani soldiers as prisoners of war and resulted in liberation of Bangladesh. That's like a creation of a new nation. And it also is important because it involved synergized application of all available resources. That is to say, say that uh, it involved airstrikes, naval engagement and ground offensive, which was ably backed up by support of the Mukti Bahinis. So, the, so to say that liberation of Bangladesh in 1971 remains relevant today also due to its impact on national identity, humanitarian considerations, regional dynamics, particularly in South Asia, as also lessons for democracy and war and its place in the global history. Right, sir. So we are very proud to have uh, Red FM associate with the Eastern Command of the Indian Army to honor uh, Vijay Devas, the day that marked the end of the 1971 conflict, leading, like you said, to the liberation of Bangladesh, the birth of a new nation. Now, it's for the first time that a radio station would be narrating stories of this iconic war, bringing stories of valor and courage to the civilians. Now, if you can just uh, give us your thoughts on this association. Uh, we are happy that uh, Red FM is taking this initiative to educate particularly the new generation, younger generation, on the 71 war. As you know that in addition to military history, the 71 war brings out ample lessons in leadership, teamwork, human endurance, and number of such like qualities. So being a popular means of communication with wide uh, listenership, which the Red FM has, I'm sure it will adduce the memories we have of this iconic war among the new generation. Right, so thank you so much. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it will because it tells us so much. And so tell us a little bit about the then situation in India at that time and how the um, then Indian Army Chief, the legendary General Sam uh, Manikshaw, decided to go to war at such a short notice in spite of quite a few obstacles at that uh, point of time. Yes, uh, you all are aware that uh, in the beginning of 1971, the situation in India was marked with huge influx of more than 10 million refugees, which posed a lot of uh, logistic and economic challenge for the country as a whole. And this became a major issue that needed urgent intervention of the India as a nation, as a world as a nation, in uh, ameliorating the sufferings of the Bengalis in East Pakistan, erstwhile East Pakistan. So it, when the decision was taken for carrying out an intervention, the Indian Army under the dynamic leadership of Sam Maneksha rose to the challenge and prepared for the military intervention. Fully aware of the challenges, particularly logistic challenges and the terrain challenges that faced us in Bangladesh, present Bangladesh. So it took time to develop the requisite infrastructure, establish the necessary communication network, as also the supply lines, which are mandatory for launching an offensive of such nature. And that is how I think we are successful in carrying out these operations and we were able to overcome all the challenges that were faced in the 71 war. 
right sir so you mentioned of course about uh, the mukti bahini and you know it's played such a uh, big role in the liberation and creation of a new nation so do tell us about their contribution towards the 1971 war of liberation and also the uh, indian army's association with them yes you all are aware that the mukti bahini was formed which is also known as liberation army of bangladesh right. at that point of time was formed primarily in march 1971 after the crackdown by the pakistan army on the bengali nationalist movement and uh, once it was formed the mukti bahini grew very rapidly with many young young women and men joining their ranks and thereafter they have been of immense help to the indian armed forces in carrying out operations in bangladesh and they have fought shoulder to shoulder with our troops and they i would say that their daunting courage and audacious spirit were the hallmarks of this magnificent force and which is really creditable all along valuable information on the location and whereabouts of di different pakistani army stronghold their deployment and their strength were also made available to us and by their activities which also include their conduct of certain demolitions and harassment of the pakistan army they were able to demoralize the pakistan army to a large measure and it became difficult for them to operate in such a hostile environment and i think that was the contribution which proved crucial to the success of indian army in the 71 war right sir so um another question that i had you know on a similar subject now the the, the indian army had taken approximately you know 93000 to 95000 pakistani war prisoners in the east uh, which is only the second highest after world war 2 now uh, how did this surrender happen as in how did we get them to surrender i think uh, in one sentence if i would like to say i think it was as a result of superior military strategy which was adopted by the indian armed forces at that point of time uh, you all are aware that on 3rd december 1971 uh, pakistan launched a series of air strikes on our territory thus thrusting us on us a war the government of uh, india took up that conflict and retaliated in full measure unleashing a multi pronged attack on pakistan which included west pakistan as also erstwhile east pakistan and we were able to quickly overwhelm the pakistan forces in east pakistan the speed and strength of indian offensive combined with the support of the mukti bahini resulted in a quick series of victories and indian army also swiftly inducted troops by air and encircled most of the pakistani forces which resulted in the surrender of approximately 93000 pakistani soldiers in just 13 days the dhaka fell to mukti juddas and the indian armed forces and a new nation bangladesh was right. born right it was also a very short war i mean this lasted yes. for about 13 days yes. or so so coming on something else i mean you know you are amongst the most decorated soldiers in the country uh, but we'd love to know you as a person we'd love to hear from you as to what you do in your spare time uh, do you like listening to music do you have a hobby uh, maybe the different side of you that people don't uh, know about yeah apart from the professional life i also have a personal life and uh, like an, any normal human being i have certain uh, you know hobbies i like to read books i also love listening to music in fact uh, in our younger days we used to listen mostly to the radios when we were deployed in the forward areas and we used to listen to the forces request in all india radio at that point of time that was one of the very popular program and uh, i would also uh, i also love playing certain games uh, with my troops at a younger age and now of course whenever i get time i try and play golf That's one Wonderful. of the game I like. Wonderful. So, would you like to dedicate a song to uh, anyone on Red FM? I would like to dedicate a song. In sure, fact, please. Two songs uh, to the troops who are deployed in the forward areas, and one song is, of course, of Kesri Tere Mitti. That you know gives you goosebump when you listen to it. It's a very, very patriotic song. And the second one is from movie Laksha, Kando Se Milte Hain, Kande. That is also one of the. very very motivating song i would say my last question to you is that you know there are so many people who would like to you know join the armed forces there are so many people who look to you know uh, who look to work for their country is there any advice that you have to them especially to people who are looking to serve their country i think uh, 
the position at which I have reached now. I'm very proud to serve my country that I have been given this opportunity of serving my country for our last 39 years now and protects our national values and the identity and contribute towards maintaining sovereignty of our beloved country. And I think it is one of the most noble profession that a young men and women can join. And I would like to encourage everyone to come forward and join the armed forces. And I would like to tell them that it's not only uh, a profession in which uh, you live, you, 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 you operate in the difficult areas. It is also a life full of adventure, camaraderie, high moral and ethics, and with a lot of opportunities to travel. Specifically, I have a message for the youth of our country, and that is there to dream, and you must dream big. And you must then strive towards achievement of that dream. Like we all know, our beloved late President Abdul Kalam had once said, the dream is not something you see in sleep. It is something that does not let you sleep. So dream big and take this plunge. Thank you very much. Sir. Such wonderful words, such inspiring words. It's been such a wonderful pleasure to have you over. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you very much. Red FM presents Guts and Glory. Salute 71.